Hello, uh, let's do this question. I just did it and took me way too long, so I don't want to edit that. You're given a tree, but you can lock and unlock a node. If you lock a node given a user, only that user can unlock the node and no other user can. You can only lock a node if it's already unlocked. And there's also another function called upgrade, where in order to upgrade a node, you have to check that all the ancestors of that node are unlocked and at least one descendant of that node is locked and that the given node is unlocked. I don't really understand the semantics of this, but there are rules. So I'll just, well, I'll just go with it. Um, how do we do this? For the upgrade, we're checking the ancestors and the children. So you could potentially be going through the whole tree. And how many calls to upgrade would there be? So there are at most 2,000 calls in total to all lock, unlock, upgrade. So if, let's say we have 2,000 calls to upgrade. And an upgrade takes all of n time. Then we have, since n is at most 2,000, then we have n squared, which is fine. What about lock and unlock? They can be done constant time. To check that all the parents are unlocked you just have to do that will take log n time then you can do that recursively and same for the descendants but we're given a vector p representing for a particular node at some index whose parent is that node we're given that the first node in this vector is the root which shouldn't have a parent so that's why it's minus one how do we do this we need a way to go through all the children of this tree and we're only given a parent vector so we need to keep track of the parents of each node. And we could do that using some kind of adjacency list. So vector of vector of int, call it children. Let's also keep track of the parents in here. We also need to know whether a given node is locked or unlocked. So we could say int locked it can be a Boolean and also a user vector which user locked this node? If the lo if the node is unlocked, it doesn't really matter what the user value is. Okay, so let's go through and set parent is equal to p. So you can just make a copy of that. Make children equal to a vector of vectors of ints. And what's the size of this? Probably p dot size. What else? We have locks. Make that equal to a vector of booleans of size p dot size and user is equal to a vector of ints of p dot size. For the children adjacency list, we can go through each of the parents. Now we know that p of i is the parent of node i, so the children of this node here should have i as a child. So we just push that back, cool. Now what, what about lock? Return true if it is possible to lock this node given the user. Well, if it's already locked, if this node n is already locked, then return false, because it can't unlock, I can't lock it. Otherwise it can lock it. So let's set the lock to be, of n to be equal to true. And the user for this node to be equal to u, and then return true. What about unlocking? So returns true if it's possible to, to unlock this node, if it's already unlocked. So if it's uh, not locked, then return false, because I can't unlock an unlocked lock. So now we're guaranteed that it is locked at this point. Let's make sure that the user that wants to unlock it is the same user who locked it. So you can say, check that the user of n is equal to u. If they're not the same, then return false. Otherwise we can return true and update the locked value of this node to be equal to false. And the user doesn't really matter here actually. All we have to know is that it's unlocked. What about upgrade? So if upgrade, we need to check all the parents are unlocked and all the descendants are, have at least one locked node and that the current node is unlocked to be able to upgrade. So let's just check the first case. Are all parents unlocked? So bool are our ancestors unlocked int n. We can check the current node is unlocked. So if, so let's actually return that the first, the current node is unlocked and our ancestors unlocked. 
of the parent node of n. But we need a base case, because at some point, if you keep going up the tree, we'll get that n is equal to minus 1. So if n is equal to minus 1, then return true. Just pretend that's unlocked. Let's have another function to check all the descendants. So at least one descendant. Descendant locked. So I have to go through all the children nodes. But let's just assume that. So let's uh, have the Boolean result equal to whether the current node is locked. And then go through its children and bitwise all that result of the children's with this, this result. So we can go through for int child n children of n and do result or equals to at least one descendant locked and then return the result. So now we can check that at least one descendant is locked. Let's do the upgrade function. First, we can check that all the descendants are unlocked. So if uh, ancestors unlocked, n. If not all the ancestors are unlocked, then return false. And that's, that's including the current node, because I want the current node to be unlocked. And then I just need one node in the descendants to be locked. So at least one descendant locked then so if there is not at least one node then return false so now that we've checked that we can actually upgrade this node let's actually go through all the descendants of this node and unlock all of them so we can say void unlock all descendants of int n let's also unlock the current node here so let's do locked of n is equal to false then go through all the children for int child and children of n to unlock all descendants of the child. So here we can say unlock all descendants of the child. But we actually want to lock the current node. So locks a given node for a given user. So let's say locks of n is equal to true and the user who locked it is equal to u, then return true. That's pretty much it. Let's uh, see if there's any bugs. Pile error, child. So this bit should be n. Oh, since um, the first node is the root node, whose parent is minus one, I'm doing children of minus one, which would cause an error. So that should be one. Oh, it should be i less, i less than that. How'd that happen? Okay, let's give that a run. All right, so that's that. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Keep eating the code, and I'll see you in the next video.